Hello, my name is Emily Ainelli of T-Girl Angel and I'm a transgender girl and I'm trying to be inspired on many different levels. I'm new to the uh, industry for um, recording artists. I've never done an album live in a recording studio. My recording studio is my house uh, where I sit at my computer. I don't work with any professionals. I do everything all by myself. I'm learning on my own. I had to do a lot of searches on the internet to get a program to convert MP4A to MP3 so I could upload it to my Reverb Nation. But there are a lot of differences in streaming music, as I've learned, because um, I've also, I'm now working with uh, TuneCore, where I actually did my very first digital album. Um, the name of the album is Ideas. It's 25 tracks. I've also featured it on my Reverb Nation page. And uh, it's already, I don't think it's live yet on the Apple Store with iTunes because I don't see a buy link. But I see that I can see the songs there. They do exist on the site. But I just don't know if they're yet available for purchase. And I see them all separately itemized all the songs though I did create an album with 25 tracks I just see a listing of the 25 songs plus I did seven singles and a couple of the singles are actually songs within the 25 track album that I created and then there were some singles that are separate from that um, so I see on the Apple iTunes store 32 distinct tracks, but I don't see an album or a link to the songs or the album. So I don't know if it's live yet. And I've also selected multiple digital stores for a tune core to distribute those uh, albums and the album and the singles that I created. So um, I don't know how this all works, but I also knew, I, I learned as I was re um, doing the album on TuneCore that I had to have WAV file format. So I didn't know how to change a MP3 or MP4A for that matter to a WAV file and I did some homework on the internet and I learned that you all you have to do is change some settings in your iTunes list then go to the songs on your iTunes list of your 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 created songs and you can click on it highlight highlighting the song and you can change uh, the version, you can create a new version of that song as a WAV file and you save it to a, a folder that you create and then you can go back to your iTunes list and delete that because then you have two separate, two tracks of the same song and you may not want that. So I go back and I delete that and I only have the original one but I have the folder that exists that shows that I have a WAV file plus I, have an mp3 and I have an mp4a and I also learned that if you want to stream on Spotify and other sites you also have to convert to a WAV file I also have music on my MySpace that I've created tracks for and I'm excited about that um, but I'm trying to find an audience that I can uh, 
aim my efforts towards. And to be honest with you, I'm not a singer. Though I would love to take vocal training lessons first for two reasons. One is to train my voice to become more feminized since I am a male to female transgender woman. And second, to learn how to actually sing. When I tar talk, I still, believe it or not, don't know how to properly talk. And plus, I have a Brooklyn accent, which kind of, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But the way I breathe, from what I understand, we don't know how to talk how to uh, speak properly because our breathing technique isn't correct, believe it or not. Because I did take a few vocal training lessons where the instructor told me that your breathing techniques, not just mine, but in general, most people, is not proper to how they should be speaking. And you should be bringing it in from the diaphragm. And I've never really thought about it, you know? It was all subconscious. But uh, there are techniques that you're supposed to use in speaking and enunciating. And I have to learn that. I also need to learn how to train my voice to become more feminine. And I think that's gonna take practice. Plus, I would love to sing. I want to sing. The only thing is, I'm a spoken word artist, so a lot of the writings that I do don't lend itself to singing. It's more appropriate to speaking, because I'm more of a poet, and I'm more of a, a storyteller. So for that kind of writing, spoken word is where I fit. I also consider myself alternative and avant-garde because I'm different from the norm, not only in my gender identity, but in my artistic expression. I'm a little bit out there. I'm different. I march to the beat of a different drum. I can even dance to songs that just play in my head. and. You know, you don't even know why I'm doing it, but I dance because I like to dance. I like to be free. I like to set my body free. I like to just be natural and be happy. And that's what life is about, trying to be free and trying to express yourself. And I love the fact that I can be creative. I can sit down and think and write. And for most of my writings, it's very natural for me. It just comes about from just uh, being inspired. You know, things in my life have helped me to draw inspiration. And I think that most people can draw inspiration from their own life experiences. And uh, I think that if you can get in touch with your inner feelings and in touch with your soul, that you should be able to create. That's all I'm doing is I've tapped into my heart and soul to create things that are personal to me. Plus, I also create things that have nothing to do with me but I just have this image or idea in my mind and I bring it to light and I develop a story or a poem or an essay or whatever you want to call it. And then I like to do a sound recording of it. And sometimes I'll even video record it, uh, reading it, because I can't memorize it. You know, I've always wondered how songwriters and singers can actually sing their songs and how they memorize it. Because I would have a very difficult time memorizing what I write. I have to read it. I can't memorize it. I have to recite it. Um, but that is what a spoken word artist does. They recite. 
and uh, you know I don't know what um, level of popularity I will come to experience over time and I don't know how this first digital album recording will be received and I know that it isn't perfect obviously because I didn't do it in a sound recording studio I did it at home and I don't know how to block out unwanted noise and sound within the, the recording obviously when I'm inside my house I can't soundproof anything so cars pass by the block every day I can't block that out in my sound recording so you're going to hear cars passing by sometimes in my sound recordings plus if I by mistake leave my Facebook page open and someone messages me on occasion you're going to hear a beeping sound which is annoying and I don't like it but I don't want to do it all over always there are times where I redo the sound recording but with a video recording you know I just let it go and I've done that also with sound recordings I just let it go but I don't want to compromise anything in the process because I want to be as professional as I can be and like I said I'm still learning the ropes I don't have a producer I don't have an agent I don't have a lyricist I don't have a writer not that I need one I'm I am my own writer um, I don't have any collaboration whatsoever everything is all up here and it's all from here what I draw from here and then I lend it out to my uh, talent to create and I find great joy in being able to create and uh, do something really special and I want people to know that um, I am going to work towards finding my niche which I know happens to be spoken word and put all my effort into developing the best that I can as that form of genre as an artist that I consider alternative and spoken word and as a poet as avant-garde uh, songwriter um, uh, indie and I also do some electronic music I guess it falls into the category of electronica but I'm trying to draw upon my interest and love of music and my passion which is to write and to create and to inspire and I feel when I write and I do my recordings whether sound or video I put all my heart and soul into it because I want it to be the best that it can be just like I want to be the best that I can be I want to prove to people that I am worthy of being noticed of making a an impact of being heard and that's all I ever wanted you know, that's all anybody ever wants is to know that they can voice themselves that they can find a form that they can express themselves and share who they are and hopefully touch someone and help them I'm an advocate for the community that I fall within the LGBT community and I I'm very sympathetic towards people who identify differently because I identify differently and I'm going to always be a force for fighting for the rights of others because I think it's important and it's the right thing to do and that's all I can do and I just want to be the best artist that I can be 
I love you all, and I'm very appreciative that you are my fans and that you support me. Thank you. Bye, Emily Ionelli of Tuco Angel. Love you guys.